Hello and welcome back to another episode of Game Hiker. We are playing some more Chronicles of Teddy. So, if I do recall, I do believe I gotta go find a book. Yes, yes, we should have the means to get to a new book somewhere. Yeah, the I power can... of angelic double jumping. The best kind of double jumping, of course. Oh, I can't get up there, though. Well, we haven't even tried demonic double jumping. Right, that I mean... That's a liberation. Not that I'm against double uh, uh, demonic jumping, but uh, don't know if it really would fly for this little kid game here. It's she true. is, she is quite young. She is, she is. It's probably better not to get involved in demonic things at her age. Absolutely not. All right. Well, we already have a gold chest over here, so I feel like that's, that's promising. That's pretty good. <gasps> and it's a book. It's a book. Oh. It's almost like you knew where to go. Yeah, I know. Oh, no. I can't open this. Just uh, sing at it. Tell it to open. Well, you know, I actually do know what the tune is for it now, since I've been <laughs> playing ahead, but um, I'm not sure if I have the notes for it. No, I don't. So, unfortunately, I couldn't play it even if I wanted to. All right, well, before we go ahead and use that book, um, we are going to go ahead and skip back to the first world just because oh. there are a few things we need to grab from there. That's what we call a plot twist. Yeah, can you believe that? Backtracking yeah, in a Metroidvania-style game, <laughs> it's, it's just unheard of. Actually, I, I really wasn't expecting it at all. This game seems so segmented that I, I was not counting on any backtracking. Yeah, I mean, the backtracking is mostly optional, but uh, for this mm. next area, there is an item that we need that is in the uh, first world. Gotcha. I guess there was a lot of stuff we did not deal with in oh, the first and second worlds. Did I go to the wrong world? No, I think so. Right one. That's right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's just like a ton of stuff in this... Uh, in, in all the areas where you know you just can't get to it yet because you don't have the right items yet. Yeah, yeah, and of course that's always going to be the most common in the first world in the game. Alright, so I don't 100% recall where I gotta go. I think it's towards the village. So we're gonna find out. I'm already seeing like these treasure chests and like missing some of the items I've already unlocked when I played when I was playing it before. I'm like, uh, I can't, I get those, but I can't get those in this game. So there must be a song to make those green platforms appear. Now, as a matter of fact, we are about to grab something that is going to make those appear. Well, well, well. Yeah. I gotta walk back for that one single marble. What do they take me for. So the, uh, the bird people reminded me. Uh, you know how we had that that talk some time ago? I don't think it was on the show. But about the the Rito in Breath of the Wild. Right. And uh, how there was a little bit of a potential discontinuity. Where, uh, you know, it's well established in Wind Waker that they evolved from Zora due to divine intervention. Right. And, you know, all the Zoras were, well, presumably all the Zoras were <coughs> magically transmuted into Rito. Right. Whereas in Breath of the Wild, that. There it is. There was no. Oh, hey. Three ball. Breath of the Wild, there's no indication that the same thing happened because it does not appear to be the same timeline as Wind Waker. Right. So I was like, well, where did the Rito come from? Right, right. What, what, what spawned them, and why are they so different? And well, you know, it just seems like the uh, the Zora in general are like, very morphologically unstable. Like mm -hmm. the way they change from like even just yeah. you know from the first game you see them in Ocarina of Time, at least this version of Zora, to like Twilight Princess into this Breath of the Wild, they look quite a bit different. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about the friendly sentient Zoras. 
there right. You know. And then the of course, almost had that. But. And then of course you had the monster Zoras like you get in uh, that game, and right. Link to the Past and some of the other games. But right, then, like, so even good. among those, like, you have such different Zoras. Like, if you look at the band in uh, Majora's Mask, all of those Zoras look very different. That's a really good point. I mostly forgotten about those. Yeah. Majora, Mask, Zora Band. Indigos. Indigo. Right, right. So they're more of the more varied, leaning towards Sharkhead guys. Right. Least. Yeah. So anyway, uh, this I bring it up because this uh, same debate showed up on Reddit recently. Oh, did it? Okay. And, uh, it was it was framed in the the classic evolution debate format of if Zoras or Rito evolved from Zoras and Rito are in Breath of the Wild, but why are there still Zoras? Right, because that's you know that's how evolution yeah. works. Right. But to your point, there the, the Zoras did change significantly. So it's really nothing too uh, too surprising that some subspecies of Zora or branch species perhaps right. appeared as well as the Rito. Yeah, I mean we've already seen two versions of the Zora, you know, coexisting with right. each other within uh, the Oracle game, so why not two more versions of the Zora? Bird yeah, Zora and Fish Zora. That's, that's really the better term for the Rito, is, is Bird Zora. Yeah. <laughs> and anyway, those Rito are completely different from the Windbaker Rito. You know, if I had to you know, pick a theory that um, of what was really happening, it wouldn't be that they came from the Zora, but that they were, in fact, more evolved at Lizzleville's. <laughs> that does seem to hold a little more water. Yeah. And then they would have like a whole rivalry with the Zora because like in the game they have this whole backstory about there being a war between the Zora and the Lilifo, so <laughs> maybe yeah. they only claim the Rito were evolved from the Zora as sort of a way to spite their old ancient enemies. And on top of that, they're they're both evolved from monster species. And I'm sure they're both kind of uh Kind of touchy about that. Well, naturally, yeah. So we already got the item we needed to, but uh, we gotta grab a little bit of treasure while we're in this world. Why not? Like Level some, up some skills, uh, perhaps. Fruit. <laughs> I still don't know what the fruit's for. Yeah, actually, I did find out. So if you collect all 25 fruit in each world, um, then before like the yeah. final dungeon, you can get some pretty neat upgrades. Oh, okay. You, you unlock different colors of the girl. Yeah, different you colors, different fruit. upgrades. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm trying to remember what the rewards were with Yoshi's story. I think it was to a new... Or was it just a completion thing? I don't know. That, that game was not particularly memorable. Yeah, I don't even think I bother finishing it. Like, I played some of it, I was like, yeah... Wasn't doing much for me. No. Uh. It's weird that they had so much trouble making good Yoshi games after Yoshi's Island. Yeah, I know, they like they came up with a perfect clean template for a game and they just can't follow up with it. Yeah. Woolly World was the best effort they've done. But even I that fell short a little. Yeah. yeah. So the nice thing about when you come back to the previous worlds is that you get these treasure chests and they are extremely generous. Yeah. Man, you're up to maybe 500 million of this. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's a few upgrades. Okay, so from here, I should be able to go straight back to the, uh, back to the library and then, uh, go to the next world. Gotta make sure I don't die on the way there. Uh, you'll be fine. Which is always a struggle. Oh, man, you've almost got all the fruits you need. Yeah, I don't know how I missed this treasure chest before. But sure, I'll go grab it. Yeah. More free stuff, why not? Absolutely. I do wish those gems came in larger denominations. Yeah, I know. They make it a little bit more... Uh... Oh, lovely. The, uh, the game just crashed. Oh. 
Well, okay. Well, we were at a good place to uh, stop, so I'll go ahead and do all that stuff again. Yeah, and then come back. Okay. Good night. Good night.